Hi everyone, this is Prasad. In this section, I am going to discuss about three terminal fixed voltage regulators. Two series here I am going to discuss that is 7AX and 7NX. Okay, before going to discuss about this 7AX series and 7NX series, first I need to clarify you that what is the purpose of voltage regulator? The purpose of voltage regulator is to provide a constant DC output voltage when the input varies and the load current varies and temperature varies. Even though these three parameters varies, the voltage regulator is capable of providing a constant DC output voltage. Now, here we will see 7 8 x series first. Observe 7 8 x Here the 7 8 indicates the positive series means it is the positive voltage regulator series. And here double x what I mentioned it may be any value that is 0 5 volts, maybe 10 volts, maybe 6 volts, maybe 7 volts. It may be any value which indicates this double x values. The, what is the integer we are going to replace here? That integer value means the same amount of output we are going to get at the output terminal of voltage regulator. Absolutely, the 7 8, as I mentioned previously, it is positive voltage regulator. That's why the input we should give the positive and the output will be in terms of positive we are going to get it here. And very important, the 7 8 double x series having three pins. One is input pin, another one is output pin. Another one is ground pin. As I mentioned in this diagram, here I connected two capacitors. One is at the input terminal side, another one is the output terminal side. These capacitors are for filtering purpose. Here, when I provide some unregulated power supply, then that unregulated power supply is connected to the capacitor pass to terminal, and again it is connected to the, the input terminal of 7XIC. Means if it is 7805, then output will be 5 volts. In the same way, so if it is 7805, then I am going to get it the 5 volts constant output at the output terminal. It is a regulated power supply. It is regulated power supply. Okay, we will look into this diagram. Absolutely here, here I taken the example of 7812. Again, I mentioned 78 is positive, it is indicates the positive series, and 12 means the output voltage. What I am going to get this output terminal side. See here, what is the output I am going to get it? That is plus 12 volts. And what type of input I need to give at the input? This unregulated input we are going to give, but how much voltage I need to give? How much unregulated input is required to give to get constant 12 volts at the output side? It is one of the important thing. See, to get constant 12 volts at the output side, you should give minimum input voltage of 14.5 you should give here then you can get the constant 12 volts output voltage and 12 or more than that also we can give but minimum is required that is minimum the 14.5 voltage we need to give at the input side to get constant 12 volts at the output side object clearly here i'm going to show some of the values of different type of ic's here 7805 so here 78 indicates positive and the 5 means 5 volts constant output voltage we are going to get it at the output terminal of the IC. So to get 5 volts we should give minimum 7.3 or above voltages we need to provide at the input side as a unregulated power supply. In the same way here take n number of examples. This is the example I explained in this PPT that is 7812. So whereas I need to provide 14.5 volts and above voltage I need to give as a input then I can get constant 12 volts. In the same way now we will go through 79 double x series. Here what is 79? 79 indicates negative voltage regulators and again the double x is the same as we discussed that is it may be 0, 5, 6, 7, 8 or etc. But here the negative output we will going to get it at the output terminal of this one because as I mentioned it is a negative voltage regulators. See for getting negative constant output voltage we need to give the negative input at the input side. So for example you can consider the same issue 
Here I am taking the example of 7905. If you required minus 5 volts constant output voltage at the output terminal, you should give at least minus 7.3 voltage at the input terminal. Then are above 7.3 and above you can give, then you can get the minus 12 volts output. Sorry. Uh, minus 5 volts output if it is in 7905. If it is in 7912, then we are get the minus 12 volts output. To get the minus 12 volts, you should give at least minus 14.5 volts or above, we should give at the input side. So, here we discuss 78XX and 79XX. 78 is the positive voltage regulators and 79 will be the negative voltage regulators. Here also I give some examples of different ICs of negative series. 7905, that is negative voltage based. So here, absolutely 7.3 should give as a minimum, then you can get the 5 volts. Someone may have a doubt that, sir, what about the remaining part of the thing? What ha what, what is, uh, where the remaining uh, voltage is going on? That is considered as a dropout voltage. The dropout voltage for this regulator, for example, if you consider 7805, the minimum will be 7.3, we need to provide the input. The remaining voltage, the difference voltage is considered as a dropout voltage. This dropout voltage, can be dissipated as a heat in the environment. So this is 78XX and 79XX. The three fixed three terminal fixed voltage regulators. One is positive voltage regulator and then one is negative voltage regulator. Yes, in my next session, I will discuss about. Actually, I will explain you about how to implement these voltage regulator circuits on breadboard by using Autodesk circuit that is online based platform. I am going to explain you. Thank you. Thanks for listening.